The rules for signs in multiplications are as follows. When we multiply a plus sign with another plus sign, the result is plus. Negative times negative, the result is positive. Negative times positive, the result is negative. And positive times negative, the result is negative. So when the signs are the same, the result is positive. When the signs are different, the result is negative. Something that might help us remember is the following example. Let's say that we have a very positive person that encounters another positive person. They agree on everything because they are positive. So the result is very positive. They are very happy about that. Now let's say that a negative person meets another negative person. Because they have the same points of view, they agree on everything. So they feel very good about that. That would be positive. Now, let's say that a negative person meets a very positive person. Obviously, they are not, not, they are not going to agree on many things or maybe not agree at all. So that's going to give them a negative feeling, a negative result. Let's say that a positive person meets a negative person and the result would be the same. They are not going to agree on almost anything. Therefore, the result is going to be very negative. So with these rules, let's do some examples. Let's multiply 8 times minus 5. First, we multiply the signs. The sign of 8 is plus. So plus times minus is minus. The numbers or coefficients, 8 times 5 is 40. Let's add some variables. Here we have 8 squared times minus 5x. Let's multiply the signs. The sign of 8 is plus. Plus times minus is minus. 8 times 5 is 40. For the literals or the letters, we put x and we add the exponents. Exponent is 2 and the exponent here is 1. So it is 2 plus 1. The final result is minus 40, minus 40 in x, and we add the exponents. 2 plus 1 is 3. Another example. 8x to the cube times minus 5x to the minus 4 equal. We multiply the signs. Here is plus. Plus times minus. Plus times minus is minus. 8 times 5 is 40. The exponents. X. We have 3. 3 minus 4. So this would be minus 40 minus 40 in x, 3, 3 minus 4 is minus 1. So that's the answer. Let's do some, uh, let's add some other uh, literals or letters. Minus 4 x to the square y times minus 3 y x to the cube z. 
we multiply the signs first, minus times minus, minus times minus is plus. The coefficients or numbers, four times three, four times three is 12. The literals or letters or variables, x. We have an x here and we have another x here. So it would be x and we add the exponents, two, and three, two plus three. We go to y, we have a y here and we have another y here. So there would be y, the exponent here is one, the exponent here is one. So it would be one plus one. Then we have a letter here, z. So the final answer would be plus 12, plus 12, x to the 2 plus 3, fifth, y, 1 plus 1, 2, and z to the 1. That's the final answer. Let's multiply now a monomial with a trinomial. 3 x squared y times minus 2x plus 3y minus 2. Here what we are going to do is multiply this monomial with each of the terms here of the polynomial. So we multiply this times this first. And we do it in an orderly fashion, equal. First, we multiply the signs. In front of three, there is no sign. Therefore, the sign is plus. So plus times minus. Plus times minus is minus. Three times two is six. The variables or letters, x and x, x to the square and x to the one. So this would be x and we add the exponents. 2 plus 1 would be 3. The next letter or variable is y. y. So we have finished multiplying this with the first expression in parentheses. Now we are going to multiply this times the second expression. Let's do it in an orderly fashion. Plus, in front of three is plus, times plus would be plus. The numbers or coefficients, three times three, nine. The letters or variables, x squared and there is no x here, so it would be x squared, y, and y. So we put y, and we are going to add the exponents. y, exponent here is 1, and the exponent here is 1. So 1 plus 1 would be 2. We finish with that multiplication. So now we proceed to multiply this monomial with the last term that's inside the parentheses, plus times minus, first the sign, plus that's in front of three times minus will be minus. The numbers, three times two is six. The letters, x to the square and y, and there is no letters here, so we write x to the square and y. So that would be the answer. Let's go to a multiplication of a binomial like 2x minus 3x 
with a trinomial x plus 4y plus 5. Where we, go, we are going to multiply 2x times the entire expression of the trinomial. So 2x times the entire expression here x plus 4y plus 5. Okay? So we multiply this times this entire expression. We proceed now to multiply minus 3x times this entire expression. It would be minus 3x times x plus 4y plus 5. So this is minus 3x is here, and all of this expression is copied here. So we proceed now to multiply just like we did before. We multiply signs first. We are going to multiply this times this. Sign here is plus. The sign here is plus. So plus times plus is plus. 2. The number here in front of x is 1. 2 times 1 is 2. Now the letters. x. x is the base. Exponent here is 1. The exponent here is 1. Therefore it will be 1 plus 1, 2. Now we proceed to multiply. 2x times 4y. Plus. Here in front of the 2 is plus. Plus times plus is plus. 2 times 4 is 8. x and y. So we put x here to the 1 and y to the 1. So we finish with that multiplication. We proceed now to multiply this times this. We multiply signs. Plus times plus is plus. 2 times 5 is 10. Letter x. So we are done with that multiplication of these two terms. Let's proceed to do the multiplication of this expression. We are going to multiply minus 3x times x first. So it would be minus, and the sign here inside, in front of x is plus. Minus times plus is minus. The number in front of x is 1. 3 times 1 is 3. And then x. And we add the exponents. 1 and 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. We proceed now to multiply minus 3x times plus 4y. We multiply signs first. Minus times plus is minus. 3 times 4 is 12. x comes here, and y, we write it down. Now we proceed to multiply minus 3x times plus 5. So that would be the last multiplication. Signs first. Minus times plus is minus. 3 times 5, 15. And the only variable or letter is x. Now we are going to add common terms. Here we have 2 squared and minus 3 squared. Plus 2 minus 3. It would be minus 1 x squared. Then we have another term, 
that's common. 10x and minus 15x. We have x and x. So plus 10 minus 15 would be minus 10 minus 15 would be 5. And the letter is x. So we have finished with this, 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 and we have now the last one, xy. We have plus 8 minus 12. As you remember, the rule is when we have different signs, we are adding uh, expressions with different signs, we put the sign of the largest number. The larger number here is 12, so we put that sign minus. Then we subtract the numbers. 12 minus 8 is 4, and we put the same variables, x, y. So this is the final answer.